guys, what's up? My name is Kaylee and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a collaboration. So this is my friend Ani. Hello. And we are going to be answering some silly questions and hopefully you find this amusing in some kind of way. So the first question is, what's the habit you're most proud of breaking? Oh god. Honestly, I haven't even thought about this question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me answer. Um, probably mine would be eating McDonald's. It's been like... 11 years since I've had McDonald's, so I'm pretty proud of that. Alright, I'd say for me, probably smoking. That's my biggest That's habit. a big one, yeah. I'd say, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, uh, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be? I kind of like my name, actually. You like it? Yeah. I think I would name myself Chloe. I don't know. I always like that name. <laughs> and I don't want to have I don't want to have a kid, so I want that name. <laughs> I won't be able to pass it on. So yeah, my yeah. mom actually purposely chose my name because it's easy to pro pronounce in most languages. Oh, that's so, cool. And a lot of people have been giving me very positive compliments on it. So I kinda yeah, like my name. I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> yeah, and it's original. I feel like, especially in Canada. Yeah, yeah. That's why in, in Starbucks she has to say like just her name's Anne. Yeah, because. Most people are like, what? Like, how do you spell that? Yeah. <laughs> or they just don't get it, yeah. Yeah, and then I feel bad because then, uh, you know, I'm holding up the lineup. And so I just... Yeah, it's just it. Anne. It's just Anne. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you had to be on a reality TV show, which one would you choose? I was thinking about that one. I think I'd do Big Brother. I was... <laughs> I originally thought Big Brother as well. But I think, like, Survivor would be a lot more intense and fun. Like, yeah, you would look so bad on it. Like, you would look horrible. <laughs> but the amount of money that you could win, and I feel like I could, like, outlast other people. Yeah. I think I'd be good at that one. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. It's nice and active, and you get to do lots of fun things. Like I'd burn, though, you know, really bad if it was a beach. <laughs> like, if it was a beach, I'd shed and, like... Yeah, same. That would be bad. But I don't know. I think it'd be most... In I would not want to be on The Bachelor. No, a bachelorette, no, like no either way. one, I'd be like, no, <laughs> no, I suck at flirting. Like I am the worst flirter in the world. So yeah. And trying to get somebody to like me, I would just like, <laughs> and like stumble my words. I get voted off right away. Yeah. I don't know. I just like the whole idea of roommates and having stupid conversations. Ooh, my cat's scratching in the door. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. On the, on the first day of ruling the world, what would you do? I would probably buy everyone a horse because I'm a big horse fan. Oh yeah. So. If there's enough in, to go around. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people in the world, so. That's okay. I'll assign a few breeders and we'll be okay. Yeah, you'll figure <laughs> it out. And then we could like get rid of cars and the ozone would thank you exactly. because we'd all just like ride horses I'm again. Green. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what I would. I, oh, am I supposed to be buying something? Oh no, what would I do? Um. Ooh, what would I do? I don't know like that it's so intense that question like we can come back to it yeah I think so I think I have to come <laughs> back okay um where is the most beautiful place on earth and why that one is a really tough question but I was thinking when I was younger I went to Portugal once and um, we decided to take a boat trip and see Portugal from the coast Ah, yeah. And so we were just going around and then at some point a boy, boat took a turn away from the coast and we went to a bunch of caves and the water was so clear and you could see straight to the bottom and it was just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and I'd love that's to. Pretty, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. For me, like, I feel like all the places, I haven't been very many places, so I can't judge. Like, I haven't seen any coral reefs, I haven't, like, seen, like, Egypt or, like, some kind of, like, natural mm -hmm. wonder, like, the Grand Canyon even. I haven't seen any of that. The only thing I see, I've seen is Niagara Falls, and that was all right. Like, I took the little boat, and I saw that kind of stuff. But I think the best city that I know of is Vancouver, so that's my choice. But it's an uneducated choice. Yeah, I find that <laughs> so. Niagara Falls very touristy. Yeah, like, you, especially, like, when you take the boat, and you have to wear, like, the little poncho, yeah. water poncho, and... It just takes away from the natural wonders. Yeah. And there's like kiosks everywhere and it kind of looks like Vegas. Like <laughs> there's like um, a Burger King with like a giant Elvis on, on front of it and like all these like touristy places that eh, I, it was totally turned me off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you could buy one material thing and money was not an issue, what would it be? I think I have to get back to that question. You have to come back? Okay. Yeah. For me, it would just be like buy something completely priceless like something that's worth so much money and then sell it and be set for life. That's pretty smart. I would just get like, I would get like the Mona Lisa or something and just be like, okay, and whoever, highest bidder. 
yeah. eBay <laughs> and go and then I'm just set for life and then I take the money and just invest it and get and live off the dividends and like never work. Yeah, you know what? I would probably get a Bugatti Veyron. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that car? Yeah, I've heard of the brand, but I don't know that exact one. I'm not a huge car person. I can't remember exactly. I think it actually beat an Airbus. It oh. didn't beat, like, the military jet like, planes, but... By speed? Yeah, like, speed-wise. Yeah, 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 it went that uh. fast, so I'd love to... I'd be so scared that I'm going to crash. <laughs> like, not that I, like, because it's going too fast, but just to, like, ruin it. I'd be like, oh yeah. yeah. Or somebody crashed into me, I don't know what I would do. I'd yeah. Be like, I, I was thinking about that one because we were, my friend and I, we were walking down the street and we saw this really shiny brand new Ferrari sitting along the curb and all I could think was, I if I had a car like that, I would never dare to drive it around in the city for that reason. Yeah. Because, you know, people are going to scratch it, scratch it up. They're going to, you know, ram into it or if you have an angry parker, they're going to take their car keys and scratch Ooh, or car. just jealous people they might just key your car yeah like, exactly yeah yeah too, like to me it's just too much stress mm -hmm. to have something but then i'd want one with a driver so like you don't have to park it anywhere and you could have it like in the back cave yeah. and just like <laughs> they drop you off and then take it back and then you don't have to worry about driving it bad because like the driver's there you could have like if you're that rich you could have a professional driver as your driver yeah, yeah. and then you know you're fine like <laughs> the stig or something like drives you to wherever you're gonna go, so mm -hmm. he'll be fine. Okay, uh, what food will you absolutely not under, under, under any circumstances eat? Olives, I hate olives. olives, always have, always will. They smell bad, they look gross, they... For me, it's like yeah. sardines, like that's like at the same level. Yeah, I'm like, no, yeah. like you open the can, you're like, oh my god. Yeah, but then again, it isn't Caesar dressing, right? Yeah, but it's not like the eye, like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like anchovies. The bigger. Yeah. Oh, is that the one that's in the Caesar dressing? I I'm not sure, remember. but I know they put an anchovies on pizza sometimes. Oh, gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. And like, do they have the skeleton in them? Like, I don't understand. Like, when they show it, it's like, yeah. do you just like eat it like a shrimp? Probably, yeah. You'd think like, cause you, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it, so I don't know. Yeah, I have never thought about that actually. Yeah. Okay, um, has anything or anyone ever saved your life before? I'm, yes, in an indirect way, I'd say so. Um, I went through a time of extreme poverty. I just got kicked out of the house. I didn't have a job. and I was brand new to Canada. I'm not from Canada. I'm actually from Holland, hence my um, accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that heavy of an accent, I would say. Uh, yeah. I Maybe mean, just because I'm used to you now. Yeah, I <laughs> it think could be. So. Some people yeah. pick up on it right away. Other people, it takes a while. But yeah, I just moved to Vancouver, and then I ended up living alone for the first time ever, and I was running out of money, and I was totally terrified, but I still had some uh, student loan going from Holland, and ah. I didn't know about this. I thought that I had dealt with that, and it was all cancelled, and then one day, just for fun, I decided to check my bank account, and there was money in it, Yay! so that kind of Thanks for not life. understanding government. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keep paying me. <laughs> for me, um, I went camping when I was a kid, and like I didn't wear a life jacket when I was swimming, and this other girl was wearing one, and uh, we were just like swimming in a lake, and she grabbed my hands. She was like a psycho killer. Like, I'm not joking. We were both like eight years old, and she was like psycho. So she grabbed my arms while we were swimming, and since she was wearing a life jacket and I wasn't, I kept bobbing and like dying. Like, I couldn't breathe, and she was like holding me under the water and like laughing. Going back in time, I would just bite her or something, but I didn't yeah. think about that because I was just struggling because I was a little kid, and I didn't get it. And then all of a sudden, my mom like heard me like bobbing me, like, no. Help, I can't breathe or whatever. So she comes up, to, she comes down the dock and sees what's happening, grabs me, punches this little kid in the <laughs> face. Like, I'm not joking. She punched the kid in the face and was like, get, get your hands off my kid and like ripped me out of the water. So my mom saved my life. That was, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like intense though. I was yeah. like, why would you do that? And like, we had to leave because her, her dad owned the campsite that we were at. So it's like, had you killed a bunch of people? And like, were you just a killer? And like, yeah, maybe the campsite was a cover-up. Yeah, maybe it was like, maybe <laughs> it's they like buried little girl. kids in there. Like, who knows? Like, it's crazy. So. Yeah, you know what? I have a similar story to that, too. When I was about that same age, I went swimming to this public swimming pool in this village I lived in at the time. And um, there were two girls there. One I was kind of friends with. I knew her from school. And then her cousin was in, like, one grade up. And um, so we were just all kind of swimming independently and all of a sudden both of them came up to me at the same time and they were like hi how's it going and i'm like oh i'm good i'm good yeah let's go swimming and i turn around and then 
they started pulling on my legs, they started pulling me under, and so I crawled up to the edge of the swimming pool and I was trying to like get out, and they kept pulling me back down, so it was a very similar experience, and then yeah. I called my mom crying, and so she came, came to the swimming pool on her bicycle like we do in Holland. <laughs> Yeah, and she saw a girl um, when she just arrived. The girl apparently just was about to leave, so my mom jumped off the bicycle, grabbed the girl, and just slapped her in the face. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, both of our moms saved our ass. Like, thank you, mom. Thank I you. Know. And then for the final question, if you were a cake, which cake would you be? Just to end it on a yummy note. Well, um, I spent three weeks in Shanghai with an now ex-boyfriend yeah <laughs> uh, and I was there for my birthday um, and he took me to this really nice restaurant and then for dessert he had brought in a special cake that he had ordered through a catering company and it was made with a Bailey's filling and it was Bailey's the cake best cake I've ever had in my whole life so I'd love to be one of those and just eat myself up. <laughs> yeah I could see that I could see you as a Bailey's cake too yeah <laughs> but for me I'm like I feel like I'm a I feel like the appropriate answer would be like black cherry. I just feel like that that's like me. Like if you took me and made one, it's like black cherry. But my favorite would be like Oreo ice cream cake. Oh my god. But I don't feel like that embodies me. <laughs> if you no. get what I'm saying. Like that would it's mean good, but it's not me. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'd probably black forest cake. I could see that, yeah. Or like red velvet. Probably yeah. red velvet. When you said cherry, I had to think about um what's it called? The runaways? It's yeah, like cherry, cherry bomb. bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can see you being one of those. Yeah, I can see it too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed our video. And so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because it helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Keely. Um, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why I think it's super rude for people to ask you what you eat on a regular basis. Now, I'm not saying that you should never ask this question to anyone. What I'm trying to get at is somebody you don't know very well, maybe a coworker, maybe someone you go to school with, 